Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover an ISCSI LAN with the example of a QNAP TS412 storage system, how to recover a network drive or how to access data from a damaged network storage device. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Although the ISCSI protocol is pretty old, it remains popular for building network storage systems. ISCSI is a protocol for management of storage systems and interaction between servers and clients. This protocol is used to transfer data over the network and enables you to see a network drive as a local physical disk, while the actual data storage system is arranged inside another device. Such disks are known as LANs. LANs is a logical unit number. In other words, it's a network drive or a partition of such drive which has its own number in the ISCSI network. ISCSI LANs are used in NAS devices, and this functionality is available in Synology, QNAP, and other server-type systems. If you have accidentally removed ISCSI LAN or deleted its data, or if you just can't access the files stored on your NAS device, there is no way you can do something about it without using third-party data recovery tools. There are only a few data recovery solutions for ISCSI disks, so if you need a well-proven utility capable of restoring information from such disks, use Hetman RAID Recovery. It supports data recovery from ISCSI LAN disks. First of all, let's find out how to recover a lost network drive. Before you start the recovery process, make sure you have a drive with the same or larger capacity than the capacity of the drive from which you are going to recover information. Connect the drive to a Windows computer, download, install and start Hetman RAID Recovery and scan the drive. After the scan, you should find a folder with the name at ISCSI. Inside the folder, you are going to find all your ISCSI LAN disks in the form of images. Judging by the size, find the one you need and recover it. Or select all of them and click Recovery. Specify where to save the data and hit Recover again. When the process is over, you'll find the files in the folder you have specified. Now, you can see that the program has recovered the file to the full extent, but it is no longer a sparse file. In fact, the actual occupied disk space has grown to its full size of 330 GB. Having recovered this file, there is a choice of how to extract the information from there. The first option is to restore operability of the network drive with QNAP. The second way is to open the image file without program scanning it and recovering the required data. If you choose the first method, you need to connect an empty drive to a QNAP device, boot it and create a new virtual disk of the same size as the previous one. After that, copy the restored file to this new drive. To copy the image file, connect both drives to a Linux computer or use other tools to access the QNAP file system. Mount and open the drive in the file manager. In the redirectory of the mounted disk, you can find a folder with the name at iscsi.img. Rename this directory, for example, into at iscsi.img2 and then create a folder with the same name at iscsi.img. After that, copy the restored file into the directory you have just created. 
Do it with the help of the terminal, as you need to convert this image into a sparse file with the command for copying cp. Open the terminal and type the following command. Where this is the path to the recovered image file. And this is the path where this file should be copied. The parameter sparse always is used to transform it into a sparse file. If the file size is large, the copying process is going to take a lot of time. The terminal doesn't display any information on the status of the copying process, but you can view it in the system monitor. It shows the amount of information which is already copied, so you can estimate how long you have to wait. Now that the file has been copied to the disk, run the following command to check the result. Open this directory in the terminal and type the command containing the file name. As you can see, this file occupies less than 200 MB on the disk. Although it is displayed as having the size of 330 GB, it confirms the fact that it has been converted into a sparse file during the copy operation. After the successful copying, you should modify the configuration file. Replace the new network drive's name with the name that you need. Connect the disk to a QNAP device and boot it. Use WinCSP or another utility to set up connection with the server. Specify the IP address, login, password, and sign in. By default, WinSCP doesn't recognize hidden files. For starters, make such files visible as this directory may be hidden. Open the settings and make the app show hidden files. Then follow this path MNT HDA root config. Find a file with the name ICSI trgt.conf and open it. Find the line LAN Metapath and replace the name of the new LAN with the name of the file that you have restored. The number 001 at the end indicates how many ports your ISCSI has. In my case, it only consists of one drive. Now exit the file and save changes. If you have several drives, you need to change all their names. Reboot the QNAP device and wait until it is ready again. Now open the ISCSI initiator and reconnect the disk. After that, the drive with all of its files should appear in the Explorer. For the second method, you need to open the restored file with Hetman RAID Recovery. Open the program, switch to the Tools tab, and click Mount Disk. Give the path to the restored file. To have the program show your file in the filled disk images, select All files here, then choose the file and click Open. The mounted disk will appear in the Drive Manager. Right-click on it and choose Open, then select Full Analysis, specify the file system, and click Next. 
and then finish when the process is over. The program has found and displayed the files stored on the network drive. To have them back, select the ones you need, click Recovery, give the path to save the files, and click Recovery again. When the process is over, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. As you can see, the second method is much easier. If LAN was not removed, but the problem was caused by a NAS device failure, all you need to do is to mount the disk image in the program and recover the information. Recovering data from ISCSI LAN is no easy task, and it requires special skills and specialized tools. Our program will help you simplify this process because it can recover data from a damaged NAS device. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.